Welcome back everybody to the Neon Kitchen. My name is Chef Mark Segovia. Uh, we got Tony Bold behind the camera there. Hello. Rocking it again like every week. We're on episode 14, you guys. And thank you for uh, tuning in every week to check out our wonderful, wonderful dishes that we do here. Look at this beautiful kitchen. Look at the beautiful neon mm -hmm. kitchen sign over there. Uh, we do have, uh, we're going to be doing a shrimp cauliflower fried rice. I'll get more into the dish right after this. I do have uh, our special guest this week, you guys. We do have someone local that's rocking and rolling. You could tell, look at this. Look at this orange. What does that say there? What does that say? Lisa, Lisa knows South, South Valley. Valley. We got Lisa Blagoff here. Lisa knows South Valley. How you doing, Lisa? Hi, Lisa. Hi, everyone. Lisa Blagoff with Lisa knows South Valley. I'm a realtor here in Gilroy. I service the area from Morgan Hill down to Hollister and just like to promote our local businesses and showcase what we do down here. You're Your awesome. dress yeah. is showcasing everything. Look at that apron with that. And she hooked us up with these wonderful aprons here. Know, Look at this. Look at this, you guys. I love you. I love what you're doing. You know, you know, telling everybody about the events going on in the week. Um, you know, it's uh, it's awesome. Just keep it up, and Thanks. we want we're gonna be on there. We're gonna be on there one week. Yes. I'm yes. You you. <laughs> so you ready to cook? I am. All right. So have you ever made cauliflower rice before? I have. Oh, nice. Thanks. I was going to get like a cheddar one or the purple one. Uh -huh. I was like, eh, I want to stick with this one, but because uh, the other ones are really small. So I was like, look at this one, has more size to it. You guys want to come in here? We'll look at the ingredients we have here. We have cabbage, we have our broccoli, shredded carrots, uh, bell peppers. We had bell peppers last week. So see if you guys remember how to clean these. I do. Yeah, <laughs> there you see. Yeah. We got eggs. We're going to make you the fried rice. We need eggs. I got shrimp in the fridge. Got some uh, sesame oil. I left it in here so you can see what it comes in kind of many different jars soy sauce this is a, a low sodium soy sauce right here minced joy garlic and we have a roboku right over here which is going to be our cuisinart uh, food processor so very important to have when making the cauliflower rice i've been seeing it a lot now a lot of stores carry it yes. already done so mm -hmm. saved you guys a lot of work at home to be doing this and i'll show you how to cut this real quick even Costco carries it. <laughs> I saw that. I, a lot of people are carrying it. A lot of people. Let's get this out of the way. And I might even throw some of this in the, the greenery inside of to make the when we do the rice because it's all flavor. It's all flavor, you guys. And then, as you know, when I cook here, I don't throw away anything. I try not to. You know what I mean? I try to use everything. You were raised right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. We just cut it. Cut the florets like that. There we go. So what made you start this uh, Lisa No South Valley? I'm, I'm interested to know. So I started Lisa No South Valley. As a realtor, I had a lot of clients out of San Jose, mm -hmm. and they would often say, why do I want to move down there? There's nothing to do. I'm going to lose all my entertainment. And so I made it a quest to prove them wrong. <laughs> and it started out with a monthly postcard where I would post up 15 to 18 events each month, send out this cute little postcard, and then in 2019, I brought it to life and got in just under six months and boom, got shut down with quarantine with everybody else. So for almost two years, we were quiet. And then last summer I went, it's time. Things started opening back up, events started happening. And I really wanted to support the nonprofits and the businesses that were having these events. So that's kind of how it evolved. And yeah. you're rocking it. And you know what I love is your attitude. Oh, you're gosh, always yeah. bubbly, you're always Thank you. in a good mood. There, there, you can, it really shines, you know, you, it really brings it all in. So thank you for always being bubbly. Thank and you. always giving us the information what's going to go on for the weekend. I love it. Yes, I do. I take a look at it all the time. <laughs> well, I try to showcase three to five, three to four, probably, events each weekend. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they fall into Wednesday night through Monday. Sometimes it's just one day. It kind of all depends. Quiz, what's going on next weekend? Next weekend is really <laughs> We got to get her, guys. We got to get her. <laughs> next weekend is really, really busy. So it's going to start out Friday night. Promised Land Brewery is doing a flight fundraiser for St. Mary's. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And 50% we'll of the proceeds will be going to St. Mary's School for Tuition Assistance. Mm -hmm. And then Saturday, Fortino Wineries has a Sweetheart Saturday where Chef Saturday. Daniel is pairing wine with chocolates. Ooh. And then Saturday, oops, I don't remember what's happening Saturday night. It's just like, um, Sunday they do have, oh dear. You're doing good, you're doing no, great. I, yeah. I'm trying to like, all right, I'm gonna, her notes. I, I'm gonna go straight to Monday, so Monday. <laughs> Uh, Sarah's Vineyard is also doing a chocolate and wine pairing. Nice. Temple um, Kitchen and Bar. 
they're having a Valentine's celebration. Mm -hmm. Old City Hall is, Relish is, and then I, that's where the Saturday night comes in. There's a place up in Morgan Hill that's having a Cupid's event, and it's a dance and party and dinner. And so, yeah. Busy week. Out there yeah. for... Good job. You rocked the good job. <laughs> and one last thing. Painting with Friends, they're doing a challenge Tammy? where... Tammy. Yes. Uh, where you're actually going to have two uh, canvases. Mm -hmm. nice. And you and your partner, you and your best friend... One paints one side, one paints the other side, and then they both. Oh, yeah. So it's really cute. I think it's Shout fun. out to Tammy. How are you doing? <laughs> That's a cute idea. Yeah, Tammy yeah, part of our really family, cute part idea. of the Neo family. Yeah. So she was on the show, Tammy. She's awesome. She and her daughter, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, she's awesome. We love her. Thank you for sharing that. A lot of good information there. I have the cauliflower in here, you guys. Never turn it on. Always pull it. Okay. If you turn it on, it's going to lose control. You're going to get all, all mushy. Just look at that. Perfect. I like to get a little, a little thick. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Look how easy that was. Let me see the consistency. Yeah, take a look at that. It look looks at that. just like rice. Nice. Perfect, you guys. And when you saute this, it cooks really quick. Let me get this out of the way here. It's kind of hard doing it backwards. There we go. And that, oh, that's sorry. one whole head. This is uh, we have a little more we're gonna do right now. Oh, okay. And after that, we'll get we'll start chopping the rest of the veggies. And we'll start sauteing. You ready to saute? You're gonna saute? Sure, I'll saute. <laughs> so, what other channels do you have out there? What else are you doing? So, I am on YouTube with mm -hmm. Lisa No South Valley, Lisa Blygoff Realtor on Facebook, Lisa Blygoff on LinkedIn, and then Lisa Blygoff on Nextdoor as well. Okay, so we'll find her in all these avenues. Yep, I'll put when, them up on the so screen. When you're either cooking at home, what do you like to cook? What's your go-to? What's your um, Should I ask the hubby? He's here. I don't know. So, I, I actually am pretty diverse with what I like to cook. But I'm a protein kind of girl, so it's always got a strong protein. I think sometimes he would rather I wasn't doing the red meat <laughs> and all of that. But I like to do pork tenderloins, steak. I do a cute little summertime where I dice up steak, butter, poach it, I guess. <laughs> I, I'm going to make it as bad as possible. <laughs> and then I do garlic bread um, cubes and a tomato salad Ooh, and put it all together. It's kind of a little appetizer. We had it down in Paso mm -hmm. at the Paso Robles um, restaurant. So that's one of our favorites out on the nice. porch. So I'd like to clean up here. Look at this, you guys. Take a look at that right there. Loving it, loving it. That's so yeah. do you use tamari ever? Because I know a lot of people- Tamari, the gluten-free one? Yeah, the yeah, gluten-free one. I, I, I used that, you know, when I, I ran Asian restaurants before, mm -hmm. and that's all we would use because you know, you would, people would be like, well, I want gluten-free. We'll just, you know, instead of saying, here's regular right. soy sauce, here's gluten-free, we'll just make it all gluten-free. Right. You know, and uh, amino acids, you know, mm -hmm. the, the Bragg's, mm -hmm. uh, we would use that a lot. Um, so it tastes the same. Yeah, it does. It tastes, it tastes exactly the same. So here we go, veggies. We're going to start chopping, you guys, getting these ready for, so what we're going to do is get these all ready, mm -hmm. then we're going to start sauteing everything and cooking. You want to show me how to do those? I just said you push it in. Look at her. Look at her. <gasps> yes. She gets an A plus. And you twist and, and bring it right out. There. She did it. And then just. You got yourself a keeper there, sir. Call it a <laughs> There you go. Thank you. Amazing. Look at this. And I'll do some chopping here as she does that. We'll slice. Get the seeds out. I don't know. We got, we got a new uh, assistant here. I know. She might not take over my show, that's what I'm saying, huh? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I'll just be the cocktail party. There you How's go, that? there you go. That's what we do. Whenever you do cocktails, call me and we'll do a little food with it and pair it and you can videotape it. Okay, sounds great. There we go. We just chop. All you're looking for is just a nothing fancy, rough chop. I just sliced it real quick, Julianne. There you go. Perfect. Thank you. Good job. What's your most favorite thing about interacting with businesses and small, large, nonprofits? What's your most favorite thing about like sort of socializing with I them am, and networking with them? I'm really a super people person I, and I have, as I would call it, a 55 gallon tank of needing to be around people. <laughs> I know there are some people who could be one-on-one -on -one for their whole life and they're happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not me. No, I, me need, I need lots either. of people and lots of interaction. So the more I can be with people and you know, being part of real estate, it was really important to reach out to my community and support the small businesses, mm -hmm. which on my new website, 
we started date night where we're showcasing a different restaurant um, every couple of weeks and then also a category under adult libations. So mm -hmm. no, if you, you want to go to rocking. a winery, if you want to go to a brewery, maybe just a pub and see what they're offering. Yeah. So, you have Sound Down yes, yes, Beer opening soon. I know. Can't wait for those guys. They were on here. They're awesome guys. Yeah. Awesome I did guys. A, a short little video for Promised Land when they had the nice. I like truck. Promised Land. I, was, <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> we were in line yeah. together. At yeah, I, was, I tried to sneak, uh, you know, a lot of, because as a chef, uh, people would, what do you eat? What do you go? What do you, do yeah. you know? And I always try to, sn not sneak around, but just, you know, go places. And I just want to be marked sometimes, you mm -hmm. know. I'm in line and, and I, I look, I said, who's there in front of me? <laughs> there she was, right there. They had the lobster truck come. Oh, that, that was, was so good. That was delicious. Wow. It was delicious. It really, really was. You missed it on Tony. I did. I yeah. did. I will definitely support now that um, the season is changing. The yep. kids will be out of school. I don't have to worry about that so much. And then I can go around town and just sort of enjoy. Look at these beautiful veggies here, Tony. Oh, let me take a look. So colorful. We got some broccoli, red bell peppers, we got the carrots, we got the cauliflower rice, we got the green onions, we're gonna put it last just for some color, a little mm -hmm. pop. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna shred this real quick. Yikes. I'm keeping my hands back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't, uh, I've cut myself one time and like, that was in 2009. Wow. <laughs> Don't jinx I, it. I, I, I know, probably cut I myself know. last week. <laughs> <laughs> Don't jinx it. Uh, <laughs> get this out of the way here. And we're going to get everything ready. We'll be right back, you guys. So here we go, you guys. Take a look over here. We got our cauliflower rice, our bell peppers, and our sous chef right here cleaned up really good. Nice. Thank you. We got our, our broccoli. I did break it up a little more. You guys can see right here. This is what you're looking for. That size. Yeah, little pieces like that. Just like that. And you can buy it like that already, or you can do it yourself, whatever works for you. Uh, cabbage, they sell it already chopped up also, or you can do it yourself. Whatever you're comfortable with. Um... So what we're going to do now is cook the vegetables. We're going to get these all cooked, you guys. Okay. And what we're going to do is saute them, saute. Once they're cooked, about 75% al dente, we're going to put them right here. Then we're going to cook the shrimp and egg together. And then we'll start putting it all building it from there, all building. So, so Lisa, we're going to get this started. Lisa's actually going to help us cook a little bit. So we got some olive oil there. So what I do when I cook vegetables, I always throw in the hardest ones first. So that is, looks like it's up high. Yes, we have it on high. Okay. Sorry. There we go. I love our aprons. I know. Them. They pop. Thank you to Tom and Michelle at Caltech for our aprons. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. I think that's enough. Tim and Michelle. Did I say Tim or Tom? I don't remember. Tim. Tim, Tim and Michelle at Caltech. <laughs> Girl, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is cook these down a little bit, you guys. There we go. And we'll throw this in last, right there. There you go. So let's see what Lisa... Lisa knows South Valley. Let's see rock and roll over here. It's kind of oh, worth, I, it. worth the pan a little bit. The there, you go, there you there go. There you go. <laughs> she did the roundabout. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, you're doing great. Kind of there you go, you got it, you got it. Uh, like it. There we go. I'll show you one quick, quick, quick. When you see it, see it, see it, see it right there. You see it at the edge, just bring okay. it, stick it back to you. Oh, okay, cool. If you drop a couple, it's okay. I'll clean it's it after, don't worry. <laughs> We let him go home. Why did we do that? I'm telling you. My that. husband was here, but we let him go home. Professional dishwasher. One more try. One more try. Okay, so get it down here. Take your time. Take your there time. You now bring it back. Snap it back to you. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing almost ended up on the floor. All right. I'm going to let you, you go. You got it. You got it. Thank you. Imagine if I used to run an uh, Asian restaurant where just this was like 900 degree walk. Oh my gosh. You know, you're, That's you're, crazy. I mean, it's cooking <laughs> instantly, instantly. So what we want to do here is just get this cooked a little bit. Okay. And I'll even throw a little bit of water in here. And what's the water do? The steaming it. Oh. See, for the, just a little bit and the water will go away. So what we're going to do there is, do you see it? Oh yeah. So what that's doing is, is getting the vegetables cooked a little faster. Bringing that steam in there. 
So you're getting the saute, but also steaming and just really working at it. Look how bright the colors are now, right? That. And how do you know when it's al dente? Well, look at it right here. Take a look at it. Okay. You feel that? Let me see. So one right there. So that one's still hard. Uh -huh. So the foam was there. Still how okay. it didn't break okay. all the way. Okay. So the foam was there. And remember carryover cooking. Remember we talked about that. So yeah. when something's cooking, when you take it off, it's still cooking. So right. and throw in this cabbage now. Get all that goodies in there. Get this out of the way here. This is a super healthy dish. Yeah, a lot of vegetables. And this is a good one to uh, clean out your fridge with. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Any vegetables you have in your fridge you want to get rid of? Perfect dish for this. Especially the bell peppers. They get soft and then my husband doesn't like them. So... He's <laughs> like, they're there we soft. Go. We'll give it another minute or so. And while we're finishing this up cooking, let's find out a little more about your channel. What do you got going on? What, what's, uh, what do you got going on for 2022? So for 2022, on my website, I added date night, mm -hmm. where we go to different restaurants from Morgan Hill to Hollister. We started with Mamma Mia's, oh, yeah. and then we did uh, Ninja Sushi, and last week we did Ladera Grill. So now it's time to go to Hollister and find a really good restaurant. So if you have any recommendations, shoot me an email. Nice. And then we also added adult libations. Nice. So I, we How have, do we email you? You can email me at lisanosouthvalley at gmail.com. Okay. Or you can just go onto my website at lisanosouthvalley.com and click the button on contact and it shoots me an email direct and it pops up on my phone immediately. Nice. So. I would love to be on your libation show and do a, a cooking. That would be fun. A little food oh, over. Yeah, that would be super fun. So we have over 50 wineries from Morgan Hill down to mm -hmm. Hollister and what 12 or 14 breweries mm -hmm. and we have a sake mm -hmm. distillery down in Hollister mm -hmm. that's not quite open yet but they're hoping sake. to be open in the spring Ozeki sake mm -hmm. um, I, saw I that think one. they're going to yeah. be opening in the spring their tasting room nice. and then there's a hard cider up in Morgan Hill uh -huh. up on Hill Road nice take a look at that oh so beautiful that's what we're looking for right there yep. keep it fresh Woo! Look at that. They're not cooked all the way or still a little tender to the, to, to the bite. Yeah. So al dente is, look at that, perfect. So perfect. it's got some tooth feel. Yeah, definitely. So one more thing, Lisa, um, from that's from a customer or patron or resident's point of view. Now, from a business point of view, mm -hmm. if we want to be on and, and showcase something that we're presenting, we equally... Same manner, we contact you yeah. and say this is what we got going on. Go to the contact section of my website mm -hmm. and you can fill out and give me the information on your event, your fundraiser, whatever you're doing. Got it. And then I'll reach out and get more details if I didn't feel I had enough. And then I'll put it on the upcoming events under coming soon calendar. And I'll also try to feature it. Obviously, there are some weekends that have 10 or 15 <laughs> things going on. So, I, I, you know, I try to spread the wealth, but sometimes... You know, but we'll I, cook I, for you, though. I know. <laughs> we'll cook for me, so... <laughs> All right, She's okay. on egg duty now. We got her right. on egg duty. Okay, what are we doing? Well, you just, I'll leave the show in there and put the leg okay. in there. She's going to be nice. cutting some eggs from you there. Are we get this oil nice and hot? You're, okay, so you're using the same wok. Same pan. I didn't even clean it or nothing. Okay. You can tell, look. I would do is take out the veggies, veggies on the plate, still steaming, okay. carry over cooking. Uh, we get this back on high. Mm -hmm. We have our shrimp right here. Okay. These are de-veined, detailed, and uh, and no shells. Okay. So all clean right here, you guys. Uh, these are about um, uh, 15 to 20. 15, you know, 15 yeah. 20. 20. Um, the, that's how they measure shrimp. Whenever you go buy a bag of shrimp, it has a, a number on it. That's how many shrimp. You, they're estimating you're gonna get per pound. Okay. So if you get like 55, 65, that's how many shrimp you're gonna get, and the little baby ones. So the, the lower the number, the bigger the shrimp they are. Got it. So you know what I mean? Eggs. You wanna uh, get a little mix? There, thank you. So I'm gonna start off with the shrimp. Okay. You wanna come over here, take a look at this. And never throw it in. Never throw it in on the oil. Oil. You. Let it slide in. Let it slide in. There we go. Bada the boom, bada boom. There you go. We're gonna let it get cook a little bit. Then we'll throw in, we'll throw this in once it cooks and add a little more oil. There you go. Once it get a good, nice uh, pink to it, then we'll, we'll cook it with the egg. 
Throw in the veggies, throw in the rice, bada bing, bada boom. Got We're it. gonna get it. Okay. We're almost done here, shrimp you guys. Are one of my favorite proteins. Yeah. I'm so excited when you said, Hello, I'm shrimp. I'm like, yes. <laughs> We're waiting till it's pink, right? Yeah, a little pink. It's coming right now, you guys. Okay. But it goes from pink to overdone really, really fast. Really quick. <laughs> really quick. Hey, I think she's trying to take over my show here. I nope. know. Nope. Lisa, awesome. <laughs> it's all yours. <laughs> yeah, I love when we, cook, when we have guests that no food or talk, you know. We get some things that don't cook at all. Mm -hmm. you know, but it's all fun. They're yep. all fun. So there we go, right there. Beautiful. I'm going to throw in this egg now. There you go. Take a look at this. Okay. Now we're going to throw in the egg. Yeah, I do want to see how you're doing that. Look at that, look at that. Alrighty. Cook it, hit those thighs. And we want to cook about 75%. Okay. Look at that. And just let it come off right there. There we go. There we see I a see scrambling, it. scrambling. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Shrimp are pinking up a little yes, bit. Yes, there we go. That carry over cooking. There, yeah, for real. <laughs> And it's amazing right there. That smell of all this is just, oh my God. Yeah. And you can do this with any kind of protein you like. You can do it with tofu, mm -hmm. uh, beef, chicken, shrimp, shrimp. Uh, <laughs> pork. There we go. That's what I'm looking for right there. So now we do this. So you don't want to, the, the egg is still oh, sorry. a little Did bit I miss watery. A little bit? Yeah, very little bit. Very okay, little so it's bit. not dry. Okay. That's about 75%. There we go. I'll put that away. Oh no, that's too much. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna have it on the floor. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Uh. Do you want to pass me the uh, cauliflower? And you're gonna sprinkle that in right there. Oh, I forgot about that. Now we got our rice. Oh, okay. Cauliflower rice. Yeah, let's go for all of it. Perfect. Thank you. And this is gonna cook really quick. This cauliflower is gonna cook really quick. While we're finishing this up cooking, uh, what else? What else do you want to let everyone know before before we finish up with this dish? So what's going on with Lisa? Um, you know, you talked about all your different websites and stuff like that. Um, what else is going on? Well, I do sell real estate. So <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you ever need a realtor buying or selling, I'm happy to help you. I'm licensed in California, so technically I can go. When do you and sleep? Me. When you <laughs> when do you sleep? Sometime between midnight and five. <laughs> President of the Gilroy Sunrise Rotary. Oh my oh, God. I'm in Toastmasters at seven o'clock on Wednesday mornings. I did and meet you there. I did a presentation there. Correct. That's right. And then uh, I'm an ambassador for the Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. So yeah, sleeping is sleeping optional. There. Yeah, that's optional. Right. Yeah, there's plenty of time for that when I'm old. <laughs> look at that. How does that look? We're mixing the soy sauce okay. and, and a little bit of garlic. Yeah, yeah there you go. And those are at the end, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The garlic you could do saute if you want. I like mine a little fresher. Mm -hmm. And we throw a little bit on top. And if you can hand me the sesame oil, mm -hmm. after, there we go. Look at this. Remember, uh, less is more. Because if you overdo it here, it's yucky. Yeah, you you, you, <laughs> uh, you can't take it out. Mm -hmm. But if you put you don't put enough, and you want to add some to your own dish after, you can. Oh, okay. Just a couple of sprinkles of this, and kind of neutralizes it a little bit. Give it a little bit of different flavor. Gives it that umami. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh my god. Come get that smell, Tony. Come get that smell of vision. Let me smell. Mm, that smells smell fantastic. There we go. And I think a little more soy sauce. What do you think? Uh, it looks like it needs a little bit more. A little more color there. Like I said, these are great dishes to clean out the fridge at home. Great. If you can even if you even if you don't want to add a protein, it's all veggies. Do a tomatoes at the end. I've seen every variety you could think of of fried rice. Uh, but I love that when they started doing the cauliflower rice, I love right. cauliflower. It's healthier, a lot healthier, uh, great flavor. Uh, I really enjoy it. I think we've done it a couple of times here, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Well, my husband had heart issues, and so I kind of had to change my, my cooking. So I often look for alternatives to either high fat or high carb. Ultimately, there we go. Look at that. Come That's take a look beautiful. at that, Tony. That is so now cool. we're going to add in the green onions. That looks beautiful. And what we do with these, we want them big. Okay. For color. So it looks nice. Lovely. There we go. 
We have our wonderful cauliflower rice here, fried rice with some nice shrimp. Look at this, Tony. That looks beautiful. Oh my God. I think your daughters will even like yeah, this. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> You're like thinking about it. There we go. I'm thinking. Bada bing, bada boom. Huh? Well, good beautiful. job. We did good it. Job. So now Thank we're going to get down. We're going to plate it up. We'll get ready to try this food out, you guys. So here we go, you guys. We have our wonderful cauliflower shrimp fried rice. Take a look at that right there. We got our egg. We got our uh, we got our cabbage, broccoli. We got our bell peppers, our green onions. A lot of goodies there. So we're going to start plating this. I'm going to bring this plate over here because I don't want to drop it everywhere. Oh, my God. It looks amazing. What do you think? It's beautiful. To, I love the this? color. They say you eat with your eyes first. Definitely. And these colors just look amazing here. Here we go. A little bit of sriracha on top, huh, Tony? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Was that planned, you guys? <laughs> there we go. Oh, my God. Take a look at this, Tony. Bring that, that in. It's beautiful. Oh, the wonderful. I think I hooked you up with shrimp there. I know. I'm telling you, it guys. is beautiful. So we have our wonderful cauliflower fried rice, cauliflower fried rice here, you guys. Really easy to make. Um, I was allowing a couple of times I said it. This is really good to use whatever you got to get rid of in the fridge. You know, if you have bell peppers that are going bad, use them up. Cauliflower. If you have any uh, uh, broccoli, any vegetables, squash, zucchini. I haven't seen tomatoes at the end. You can put your tomatoes and they don't break up too much. Um, you can use a lot of different stuff on here, you guys. So we're going to have Lisa try it out. Hopefully she gives us a thumbs up. So here we go, you guys. We got Lisa from Lisa No South Valley. She's going to let me know how our shrimp... I say our because she helped me out on this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> our shrimp cauliflower fried rice, how it came out. So it's, here we go. We got a drum roll. We got a drum roll. I'm going to try to get a little bit of every little veggie. That's the way to do it. Okay. Here she goes, you guys. Kind of nervous. She's a chef, I think. A hidden talent. Mm. Those shrimp are so tender. What do you think? Thumbs up? Good job. Thank you yes. so much, Lisa, for coming on the show. First of all, just coming in, you know, uh, with your great attitude. Great attitude. Thank always you. always smiling. It makes us smile. Mm -hmm. Thanks um, for having me. I really appreciate it. It's a lot of fun. We wish you nothing but luck on every adventure that you, get, you guys are doing. And I hope we, we work together again. Absolutely. You know, you have a I lot look of stuff forward going. to you have so a lot of stuff going on that, uh... Well, you guys have a lot of events here, and I used to always do them out in the morning at 7. Now I'm like, how about if we wait a little bit and get inside? <laughs> yeah. Oh, there yeah. There you go. Thank you again. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. And I'd always say you're part of our family now, Thank and you. if you ever need anything, we're always going to be here for you. Thank you. I really no appreciate it. No problem. Thank you, guys. Me. Thank you again for, uh, for uh, tuning in. I do want to say one thing to my brother, Tom Bustamante. Uh, he lost his mom this past week. I want to say rest in peace to Gloria Bustamante. We love you, and we're going to celebrate your life. So thank you for tuning in, everybody. We're at Neon Exchange. We're rocking it here. We're at the Neon Kitchen, episode 14. It's in the books. Have Bye. a good one.